I'm Patrick and this is my submission for the social network task that I have to hand in for media, so here we go! From the director David Fitchner comes The Social Network, his own take on Mark Zuckerberg's life and his rise to fame through his creation of Facebook. Jesse Eisenberg's character of Mark Zuckerberg was the main character in the movie and experienced the largest character arcs out of all the characters in the movie. From his failing romance with Rue Namari's Erica Albright to his falling out friendship with Andrew Garfield's Eduardo Saverin, Mark's whole character changed from beginning to end. From the first scene, Jesse Eisenberg's character is instantly seen as a disliked character. The way that he talks to Erica, i.e. Runamari's character, was, well, more or less really rude and, uh, and demeaning to her, which would instantly make Mark Zuckerberg seem like an asshole, which is what Erica said herself. Throughout Mark's talking about frat teams and also frat houses and how he wants to get into the battalion or some really large one, which a president got into and became president because he was in that house, this causes a massive fallout with his girlfriend, Erica, of the time and causes him to go and create Face Smash. Although this is only the tip of the iceberg for our hatred growing hatred for Mark Zuckerberg in the first few mo moments of this movie. We then see Mark, Z Mark Zuckerberg running back to his apartment, or so-called apartment, where he'd create the code that supported Facebook. In him sitting down and blogging about how Erica is a bitch and, his, and her family is a bitch and that all new girls are bitches, this instantly creates a likability of negative for this boy. Then next comes the way he treats his friends, by listening to only their most absurd comments, to only to immediately demanding Eduardo for his code on how to create the site FaceMash. When Facebook suddenly hits the dirt after being influenced by the Winklevoss twins, uh, the Winklevoss twins aren't all that happy about it as, well, they learn about it and do nothing about it for a while because they think Mark is a good guy. He has to be, right? And from there, the movie kicks off. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg is suddenly thrown in and out of time loops between the present day and the past of when he was creating Facebook, including in courtrooms and court hearings, and also deciding whether or not he should pay X amount to the Winklevoss twins or any other company who thinks he stole the right, including to Eduardo for stealing Facebook from underneath him. From the moment he met Sean Parker, everything went pretty much sideways for him and all of his friends. Sean Parker basically took over his life and made sure that everything to do with Facebook went through him first, which immediately made Eduardo extremely upset. Mark, you're not doing great here. And then we get to the peak of his character arc, where suddenly he doesn't care about anyone else. He only cares about what's going on in his pocket and that he's CEO, bitch. Well, Eduardo gets pretty upset with him when he throws a massive wrench into the mix and basically makes Eduardo get nothing out of the company, although he did co-create Facebook. Well, after the influence from Sean Parker, well, who wouldn't do this? After Sean Parker is caught having drugs in a frat house party, Mark Zuckerberg takes over the company by himself, going to all the court courtrooms and all the court hearings by himself, only with his close friend nearby. The movie then pretty much ends on Mark Zuckerberg sitting alone, working on Facebook in the court. Not really in the court, but like one of the court waiting rooms, yeah. Actually no, it was the court room, it was the same room that, yeah, okay. Anyway, he stayed there and worked on it while a girl said, you're not an asshole just really trying to be one. Likeability was woven through the social network, well, like knitting. It was placed very subtly in a lot of areas and placed directly in front of the entire audience's face when, well, the word likeability was literally shouted out to Mark. Through visual elements of camera angle, framing and lighting, including location of during the night running in the rain, really does set out that this guy might be the bad guy in the very opening scene of when he's talking to Erica and having, well, a snack of, oh, well, having a drink. And the music didn't really help either. The subtle piano that really did sense that this is going to be a sad one. It was a soprano music, pretty sad for, well, a guy who's about to get a bajillion dollars in his back pocket, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
even through the color grading of the yellowish start of the movie where everything was really meek and bleh, really awkward you didn't really like it to the bright and open and really direct reference of bright light towards the main characters really showed off the likability woven in between all the scenes i mean let's be honest in the very beginning no one actually liked mark zuckerberg or his character for the way he talked to Erica and how he made Face Smash uh, because he got that idea of putting farm animals next to human faces and seeing which one was hotter. Yeah, nice going. And this was the birth of Facebook. Congratulations, woohoo. But even Mark's character arc didn't really make him seem like a nice guy until almost at the very last minute where he basically said, I'm not a bad guy. And we all knew that. He wasn't bad. He wasn't being mean. It's just business. The structure of time in the so social network is nowhere near linear. At a few times during the film you were wondering if you were just seeing the next day or the next week or something like that until you realise you're then thrown back into the past to relive a story or something that happened in the making of Facebook. This was intertwined perfectly with things like just after Eduardo says an ambush, it goes right to the story with a little bit of a background talking about what happened and what he actually went there for, an ambush. However, on first watching The Social Network, the structure of time was very confusing and not all that amazing. However, the story did catch up and actually became linear near the end, where it just continued on from the courtroom area, where because the Facebook story had ended. That doesn't impose the fact that doesn't impose the fact that the social network was an amazing movie with amazing time skips and appropriate time skips for areas and for areas to explain the things that happened. I don't know about you, but acting and sound is major for me. I mean, being a stra drama student and a really nitpicky editor with sound cues and sound overlays and sound timing. This movie was amazing. I enjoyed it so much. It kept me intrigued and it kept me attentive that the whole movie, including in the really awkward bits like the Erica dating scene and other things like that. The soundtrack was amazing. I loved the main theme of the movie, which also kept the idea of likability within it. You know, did I like the song, did I not? With the constant shifting of violin from left ear to right ear and the subtle nice piano in the middle. It kept me engaged and the audience for that matter because of how the characters were portrayed, these knowable characters. Like we know who Mark Zuckerberg is. We don't know about anyone else, but we know who Mark Zuckerberg is. So that immediately gets you attentive. You know, this is his life. This is a guy that owns over a billion dollars. This guy is rich as rich can be with 50 million friends all over the world. Moving away from the social network now, we're now gonna look at the Facebook image that was given to us. In the image scene before you, and possibly in the editing that I'm about to chuck in, which would be a good idea, so do that, Patrick, that'd be great for you to do that. Um, the codes and conventions of print, layout, color, image, text, composition, layout, paper stock, framing, distribution, readership. Ugh. Well, the color is a start. The color layout of this image is mostly beige and brown and darkish, showing a character that almost looks like Mark Zuckerberg himself looking through a, t uh, a periscope that is in the shape of the symbol of Facebook shining out or showing out into the nature strip which you could easily go out to if he just walked through the door that was opened. The F is the focal point of this image and is the brightest part of this image and is the only outstanding colour besides the white and green in the entire image, which instantly draws your draws your eyes to it and makes you recognise that symbol as the Facebook. Makes you look a little bit more. You see a man looking through the periscope, out through barred, wire, uh, barred window up top, out into sunny fields that he could easily go out into himself, which really does show our society and what we've come to from looking in looking of the world through a different perspective. The composition, layout and colour all work together to give this image a story to it. This man is looking through a social network into the world when really he should be out there himself. But 
he isn't. The composition of this really does help a lot. If it was in a, any different way, it'd be a little bit awkward. You don't know if the door is open, you don't know if he's actually looking into it, you don't know what the periscope symbol actually is, it's just a blue periscope. So everything, all, all is working together. The colour of the F, which is obviously the Facebook uh, color, uh, Facebook blue, the image size, so it is obviously Okay, that doesn't nothing to do with it, but the composition and layout of the picture. They all work together to create this narrative of a story of real life that really makes you open your eyes. While I'm here, I might as well just do the next one as well. Um, what is it? Layout and size. Does that say size? I'm gonna assume that says size. Miss Miss Knight, you need you need to check your uh, your writing. Either that or my camera's busted. Anyway, um, layout and size. Okay. Well, I've already talked about the layout. That's fine. But the size. Well, the size of it just shows. Okay. So main the bit maybe about what seventy percent of that image is all the blue F. Well, that's also symbolic as well. It takes the best seventy percent of our lives. Huh. To look at that. The further you look into things, the more you figure stuff out. This campaign picture worked really well, especially in my eyes. It shows me that we're looking too much through the eyes of the internet than through, well, actual, our actual eyes. So yeah. I'm gonna call it there. This isn't graded, so yeah. Uh, hi, Miss Knight. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that'll be about it.